Hey guys, you may remember this as my Creality Falcon 2 40 watt CNC laser cutter and engraver machine. This thing is an absolute beast and I still love it very much. But we're not here to talk about this machine today. We're here to talk about this absolute beast of a CNC laser cutter and engraver machine, the new Creality Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt. Let's get to it. Let's get it opened up and see what it's all about. Well, first impressions are that this is really nice. That's a big laser. There's our air pump, parts kit, power supply. Well, I recognize this, but it looks like it's got extra parts that it didn't used to have, so I wonder what that's all about. There's a little camera. Time! Okay, it looks like there's some pretty good instructions in here. I'll go ahead and put this all together and we'll meet you back. And with everything assembled, let's start talking about all of its many quirks and features. Mostly features. And we'll start with the most obvious one, which is this enclosure. You can see it's made out of this red material that does cancel out the wavelength of the laser. So you can run this machine without any kind of eye protection as this, as well as the one around the laser itself, adds adequate enough protection for your eyes. Although I do think in the instructions they say you still have to wear the glasses, but you know, this is awesome. The other thing this enclosure does is it keeps all the smoke in and with the built-in fan over here and the duct going to the outside, this does a fantastic job getting rid of all of the smoke and the bad fumes that are created by cutting with the laser. Next, we see it has a timbre door on the front and it actually has two sensors here and here and this will detect when the door is open and cancel operation. It's a little bit of a safety feature there for you. You see, I'm gonna open the door right now. Those lights change color. It's registered the fact that the door is open. Now this sliding timbre door also makes this really easy to get access to the laser and your materials. You see we have the switch right here for the light and right here for the fan. They have two positions on and auto, on being on all the time and auto being when the program starts running. Now this light does a fantastic job illuminating everything so you can see what's going on inside. And the fan again is super powerful compared to my old unit, which I really didn't feel was quite adequate. This thing really sucks, but in a good way. Also on this enclosure, we have up here hidden underneath a little camera. And this is very useful for work placement, material placement. Let's say you're cutting out 20 keychains, you just slap them down on there. You could go into your Lightburn software or whatever software you're using, use that camera and place all of your designs on those keychains. It would just make everything a lot easier and simpler, more efficient that way. Now we can quickly talk about the 60 watt laser module, which is gigantic and awesome. It has two huge fans on the side for cooling, as well as if you remember on the 40 watt unit, we have this button on top that goes between precise and normal. Well, now we have powerful. So that's gonna be your 60 watt, 40 watt and 22 watt. You just hold it down for a second and it cycles between your power levels. A few other things to note on the laser itself. You see we have lights for lens, fire, and air. That's making sure you have air running. There is no fire and that your lens is clear. If it needs cleaning, this will change color and you'll have to wipe it down. We also have our e-stop. There's several limit switches so it can do auto homing and detect if it's gonna crash into the wall so you can avoid accidents like that. And my favorite thing about these machines is it has SD card right here so you can load up your programs and then run them remotely. I don't have a laptop, my computer's in the basement, so for me, this is my favorite feature. Simply load it up, hit frame, get your material lined up, and you can run it with the play button. Another benefit to the Pro model here is you can see we have this slat system inside, which these are configurable. So if you're working with really small material, you can move these around, and that way your work won't fall between the slats. Long gone is the honeycomb system, long live the slat. Anyways, underneath, we also have a really cool innovation, which is the garbage collection or the off-cut collection. You can see I've been doing a bit of cutting here and all my scraps have kind of fell to the bottom. Just a note, you should be emptying this every time. They really don't want you leaving stuff in here to catch fire. With the quirks and features out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and take this sucker for a test drive. I'm gonna run a material test on some two millimeter basswood and we're gonna be running it with the 60 watt 40 watt, 22 watt, and the bonus 1.6 watt module they sent for engraving and pictures and stuff. And we'll see how everything behaves. Okay, we've run our 60, 40, and 22 watt test. Now I wanna swap out the 60 watt laser module for this guy, which is a free bonus they sent me 
which is the 1.6 watt engraving laser. This they say is going to work really well for like pictures and stuff. So we'll swap this out and we'll see how it performs. And here's our results. We have the 60, 40, 22 and 1.6 watt lasers. We started at 10% going up to 100% and we started at 5,000 millimeters per minute all the way up to 25,000 millimeters per minute. As you can see, basically the more powerful the laser, the darker it is and that's to be expected. Also, we will note here, a lot of these on the slower, more powerful side did burn all the way through the material, even on the 40 here. Now it's come to my attention that with the 1.6 watt laser, I should have been going much slower with it. So let's go ahead and try engraving a picture with this newfound knowledge of going much slower. I don't know if it comes across camera, but this looks amazing. It even has a little bit of a 3D effect to it because of the layers of burning in here. There's the original picture. There's what it came out like. I'm more than impressed. So we've got engraving out of the way, which went really well. Now let's move on to cutting material, which I'm most excited about with this machine because it is a 60 watt machine. It is theoretically capable of cutting three quarter inch solid wood material in one pass. Now we are going to test that out, but first I want to try the three different power levels, the 60, 40, and 22, and see how fast they cut, see what kind of difference this makes. And here we have our results. We have the 22, the 40, and the 60 watt cutouts. I don't notice any discernible difference between these. So what it's really coming down to is the time taken. The more powerful laser, the faster you can cut. So with the 22 watt, it took three minutes 20 to cut this out. This took two minutes 30 to cut out with the 40 watt and two minutes flat for the 60 watt. Now, just as a side note, in case anyone wants to know what it looks like when you don't turn the air on, that's what you get. So make sure the air is always on. So the next thing I want to do is test out our work positioning camera. You see I have this scrap where I've cut out the falcon a few times already and I want to fit one more falcon in here without guessing where it's going to be placed. So we're just going to put this down somewhere random on the bed here. And then we're going to head into the Lightburn software, update that camera, and we'll be able to position our next falcon easily, maximizing the amount of material and limiting waste. So I'll just drag the falcon onto the screen and then we're going to go ahead and update our overlay. Now you can see I can easily manipulate the falcon into position to maximize the yield on our material. And simple as that, we can now hit cut and we'll have ourselves another falcon. Sweet. Okay, you can cut small stuff real easy. We already knew that. But the next thing we're going to do is cut three quarter inch material. You've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, this is our first three quarter inch test. <laughs> My God, would you look at that? That is three quarter inch pine one by six material. Clean on the top, a little bit of scorching on the back, but that is a complete one pass cut. That is unfriggin' believable. This thing's awesome. So there you have it. The Creality Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt laser is simply amazing. I love it to death. You guys can get your own today with the link in the description below. And I believe it's even gonna come with this bonus 1.6 engraving laser. So act now, again, link in the description and we'll see you on the next one.